matter who you're playing. I agree. Well, here we go. The Blue Jays will be back deep to receive. Uh, they won the toss. They'll take the ball. They'll be going from our right to left, from west to east here at Travis Field. Uh, Hill City will be looking into the sun to kick. The Blue Jays will be looking back into the sun uh, on passing plays in this first quarter, which uh, could have an effect on the Blue Jays' passing game. You know you're going to see Norton put the football in the air. Um, the uh, the kicker will be Taylor Vapp, number uh, 34 for the Hill City Ringnecks. Meanwhile, for, or, I'm sorry, 34 is Morgan Chalfont. He'll be the kicker. Back deep for the Blue Jays will be Dan Roeder, and we are set to get this thing underway. The kick is a line drive. It's going toward the left side. It's going to be over the head of Overly, scooped up by Roeder at the 15. 20, 25, 30. Breaks a tackle. Ridden down at the 34 yard line, but nice return as Dan was. If Dan needs a breather, they got plenty of guys to fill in for him. Split, split left here, starting out slowing and resting. We'll get the starting lineup for you in just a moment for these Norton Blue Jays. Roeder under center, eye formation set. Twins to the near side of the formation. First and 10 play from the 34 yard line. Handoff to the deep back. Busting through the line of scrimmage is Cofield carrying it across the. Uh, really, basically, first start is uh, Mark Smith Maybon, and uh, he's he's a very strong player. Uh, really got some really got some power to him. We'll get the rest in just a moment. Second down and four yards to go. Option play right side. Hand out to the fullback. And Hauserman's got the first down across the 45 to the 47 yard line. The rest of the starters, the other hand, junior. Uh, the uh, tackles are a couple of really good ones. Michael Sprague, 268 and a senior. Joel Griffiths next to him, 260 and a senior. Excuse me, Sprague is a junior. Receivers left and right, first and 10 from the 47. Option right side, Roder will keep hit, drilled, fights forward to near the 50 yard line. Boy, Dan took a shot. We're gonna see an awful lot of players, Blue Jays go three deep at the quarterback spot, at least two deep at the fullback spot. Mm -hmm. And uh, so there's some people out there to play. Probably three deep at tailback too. Jared Sloan to the right side, Bruce rushed into the near side. Handoff goes inside, Kofel fights forward. Nice run across the 45 to the 40. Huge because Kyle didn't take a snap at quarterback since last year until about a week ago when the Blue Jays started losing quarterbacks and there he is in here in a, in a varsity situation. He'll hand off the right side, him and Kofel collide. But Kofel gets some running room across the 40 to the 37, 38 yard. The sixth play of the drive. Yeah. Another injured, another guy who's been injured a lot comes comes in for him, Sean Lauer. High formation set, second down, we'll call it six to go for the Blue Jays in ring neck territory. Katz will hand off at the middle of the fullback. Hauserman across the 40 to the 36, 30, or excuse me. Roeder back into the ball game. Blue Jays have yet to put the ball in here, haven't needed to. They're averaging probably six yards a carry. Receiver to the left is Sloan, to the right is Rushton. High formation set, Roeder will hand off to the deep back. Kofeld follows his blockers. He's across the 30 to the 25 yard line, first and 10. Running, but maybe time to mix it up a little. Well, they're down there working on uh, Joel's um, hamstrings. Yep. Lyle, the uh, trainer down there working on him. Option play right, now it's an option pass. Near side, slow, he's in the end zone. Touchdown, Blue Jays! Play. Wide open on the play. Beautiful passes. Dan laid it in there. Jared didn't even have to break stride at 6 0 Blue Jays. Check that out there, see Foley. Yeah, that's, there. uh, yeah. Oh. What do you mean? Nope. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah. Foley to kick. Rushed into hold. New holder. Bruce does a nice job of getting it down. Charlie's kick has got the leg. It's Blue Jays. 66 yards on the drive, and the Blue Jays, how many plays? Seven. Averaging uh, almost 10 yards a play. That's not bad. Yep. Ran a couple counters, a couple traps, and uh, made it look easy. Foley the kick. It's going to be high. It's going to be toward the right sideline. It'll be fielded about the 18. To the 20, 25, 30. Seam up the left sideline. 30, 35. Out across the 35. Step down at the 30. This is the fullback. He's number 32. 180 pound senior. The tight end is Morgan Chalfont. Uh, he's number 34, 180 pound senior. The split end, Blake Davignon, 145 pound junior. Trips to the near side, twins to the left side. Five receivers in the pattern for Hill City. Let's see what happens on first down. We got a flag down, crossing pattern. Oh, Sloan should have had the pick right through his hands. He might have still be running. The uh, interior for Hill City, number 50, Marcus Nuttings, the center, 195 pound junior. Austin Garrison, 54, 165 pound sophomore to guard. We'll get to the rest in just a moment. Blue Jays jumping around defensively. Second down, 10. Atkins will play action. He'll roll out, and he's going to be sacked. The Blue Jays have one, two. Lance Underhill, 180 pounds, seniors, one of the interior linemen. Burrow Wilson, 170 a junior, and Tyler Brock, 210 a senior. Here we go on third down and 13. Five players in the pattern back to throw. He's hit, and it's picked up by House at the 40, at the 35, 30, 25, 20, 15. 
13, steps out of bounds right at the 15 yard line, and the Blue Jays have first and 10 in ring back territory. Let's go because he had all the pressure on the passer and uh, Towson and reading it and getting his blockers set up front and getting down the left sideline. First and ten. Twins to the right, receiver to the left, handoff Cofield, hit in the backfield and drilled right at the line of scrimmage. No game. <laughs> Obviously, and, and uh, Cofield's going to take a little more time to, you know, they're going to have to set the blocks and hold them a little bit longer with Charlie. Twins to the right, eye formation set now as House moves back into his fullback spot. Tight end to the left. Option play, quarterback keep left side. He's to the ten. Cuts inside of the five where he's driven down. It took two of them to bring him down. He's been setting out most of the time, got that hamstring hurt early in the year. Of course, you know, he's sick all last spring, so he's really struggled the last six or seven months. Power set with Bofon and Steele and Jordan Hauserman right in front of Charlie Kofeld. Quarterback sneak. Rotor, he's got the first down, and he's close. It'll be about between the one and two yard line for the, the guards. And I tell you, they play bigger than that. Oh, yeah, because Mavon is built like yep. one of those brick things, and, uh, and, 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 and uh, Brian has such good technique. First and goal, Blue Jays. And up, hand off, second back through. Bond and steal, fights, fights, touchdown! Yeah, that's what your fullback does. A power run around the uh, right end. Uh, seven points, first touchdown for Bo, and two more for Charlie. 33 Tanner Long is back here to receive for the ring next. The kick by Foley is high. It's going to carry to the middle of the field. It's going to be taken by Vap at the 10, 15, 20, 25. Spins off a tackle at the 27, and he's knocked down at the 28. First. It was all unanimous all league last year. Honorable mention all state and a couple different things, so they know about them, so they know they got to prepare. Talk about the Blue Jay defense coming up in just a moment. First and ten, Hill City. Go with the power eye formation set on first and ten from the 29 yard line. Handoff goes to the deep back right side, gets away from one man, spins off another tackle. Good, hard, tough run out there. Yeah. The 23 on the carry. Driving back, they used too many arm tackles. So a little bit of that right there, but I don't know that we'll see a lot of that. Get the defensive started again right after this play. Power eye, almost, almost a, 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 a three guys right behind the other eye formation. Look, second down and eight. Handoff. Nope, didn't get the handoff away. He wanted to hand it off, and sure buried him before he could make the handoff. Senior, the linebackers are number 88, Ryan Matty, who I thought had a great sophomore year, and just looks to build on that. 187, a junior. Middle linebacker, 44, Bo Fonensteel, 184 pounds, senior. And we'll get the rest of them in just a moment. Pass Atkins right side through the hands in and out and hit hard over there on the far side. By back, you watch Kevin Lance because he's got all the technique. Back deep to punt for Hill City, their first punt of the ball game. They had a turnover in their first possession. Roeder will stand back around his own 35 yard line. This is an area Bruce Graber wants to improve on is the punt return game, but this no. isn't going to matter because there's going to be a roughing the kicker call and Hill City's going to get the ball back. Yeah, that was Aaron, oh, Aaron Oler, he's hustling in there, Ryan Maddy on the first down for the Blue Jays. I don't know, I think I might have taken a holding call and made him kick again. Yeah. But the Blue Jays are taking what they get and uh, probably happy to see what they got. <laughs> That's what we thought they had. We play action pass. Oh, Roeder, man, did they ever fool the tackle? Near side and a horrible throw. He had a man wide open, Justin Shirk at the 50-yard line. They go deep and they bring their fullback short and they got three options there, and, and the middle option, the tight end circle, is wide open, but Dan just missed it. Second down, 10 for the Norton Blue Jays. They have the ball at their own 34-yard line. Rotor from the shotgun. He'll keep it on a quarterback draw, and he's going to be hit, and he'll gain a yard. Good defense by the ring next. He did in that time. He can usually juke the linebackers, and then he's a pretty tough guy to bring down in the yep. open field. Trips to the near side. The lone setback is Kofeld. Rotor under center. No throw, straight drop back, seven step drop, looks across the middle, he's got a man there, Sloan deep behind the secondary, he's got it, 25, 20, here goes Sloan, 10, 5, touchdown, Blue Jays! Get it, and that's exactly what happened, Charlie, looking for his third extra point, we haven't brought it up yet, but <laughs> he only needs six points to be in the top ten all time in the state of Kansas, and he, if he makes this, he'll be three away. And it's perfect, 21 Blue Jays, 405 to go. It up. Roeder lofts it down, 65-yard completion from Roeder to Sloan. And the kick is away by Foley. It's going to head toward the right sideline. It'll be taken by Long at the 10. Subfield to the 15. Cuts back, gets away from a tackle at the 20. 23, 24-yard line. Not great tackling that time. The Blue Jays had people on him at the center, a little more than the toe line. We've got ringneck football at the 24-yard line. Receiver split to the near side and the far side. Split backfield this time behind Casey Atkins. Long snap count. He'll throw off play action. Getting pressure from Shirk. Looks underneath. Thrown well behind the intended receiver. Shelf. They're really mixing it up, but I'm looking for something to work. 
Second down 10, and, 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 and all that's going to struggle as long as the, the ringnecks keep getting whipped up front by the Blue Jay defensive line. Yeah, right. Nothing works if you can't block. Second down 10, play action once again. Rolls to the right side. He's got a man underneath, thrown well behind. Boy, Atkins has had receivers open the last two times. Craig and uh -huh. throw by Kevin Lentz, who's back there after an injury. We've got Aaron Overlease corner on the near side. Uh, the uh, strong safety is Jordan Hauserman, and the free safety is two-touchdown guy Jared Sloan. Play action pass once again, rolls to his right, and he's sacked. Back inside the 10-yard line. He plays behind Ryan Manning. <laughs> Ryan Manning's a really, <laughs> really good, good football player. player. <laughs> Justin. At least on the on the offensive side, on the defensive side, he has to play against Dole Griffiths, which is a pretty good play. Yeah, left footed kick. It's going to be scooped up. It'll be taken by Overly. So the 40, 35, spins across the 35 to close to the 30 yard line. But we have a. I'm guessing Slow needs a breather. Yep, Katz has been there at tailback. Looks like first and ten, Blue Jays. Rotor. Option play right side, keeps it, cuts it inside. He's to the 40. Spins loose as the ball come out. I think it did. I think the ringnecks have a really good player. And we saw him play some good minutes last year as a sophomore. That was tough to get minutes on that team. Josh Green also in there. Josh, 174 pound seniors, ended up fullback. So uh, Bruce Graber getting a lot of people in the ball game. Quick pitch comes to the near side, trying to cut it up. Field. Oh, what a stick! Welcome back, Tommy Graham. Holy smoke, I didn't see Tommy. Tom's always had a ton of athletic ability. It's great to see him back and great to see him in the lineup. Receivers left and right, split backfield set. Loss of five on the sack and second down and about 15 yards to go. And off to the right side, nothing doing. Kai, man, they're on the stop. A couple of the guys are going to get up off the bottom. Now they are back in, even though generally they probably will be starters. So here you got two guys starting, two really good players that you're bringing in. in the <laughs> off the, the bench. Quarter, yeah. Trips to the right, twins to the left. Just the, just the five linemen inside. Here comes pressure, looking across the right side, well underthrown, but, uh, you know, if I... Yeah, even though it was wide, and now you got Ruder and A.O. back on the uh, punt return. Blue Jays will get it back again, already leading 21-0, a minute 20 to go here in the first quarter. Good snap, left-footed kick is on the way, it's returnable. Overlease will pick it up at the 45, tries to cut up field. Got a good wall, got a good wall, great Oh, he's block. got room, oh, a good block by Hauserman. He's at the 40, he's at the 35, cuts back at the 30. Oh, and he's dragged down from behind at the 10-yard line. In the college level, and that's the first thing they look for, is getting pumped up about blocking rather than catching the ball. Yeah, because most blocks no one sees because they're yeah. right along the line of screens, but when you get those open field blocks, they know everybody sees those. Turns to the left, one receiver to the right. The quarterback There's keep, rotor left side, he's to the five. Oh, beautiful, cut back in zone, touchdown. Nice job out there, my Jordan. It doesn't oh, yeah, count as an you official go. play, maybe. They do for a return, there you go. That's, that's the way they can do it. So Charlie sets up for yet another field goal. We want to mention Bruce Rushton holding and doing a fantastic job holding in practice and so far in the game. Good snap by Shirk, the kick is up. It is good! That's pretty good wheels there. A couple of new players out there on the uh, on the kick coverage team, and that Blue Jays is showing a little slow, being a little slow getting to the line of scrimmage, getting set up. Uh, number 50, Tommy Graham, who we just talked about, is out there. Josh Green is also out there. And for the Blue Jays, uh, number 42, Lance Rowe. Homer's out there, also on the kick coverage team. And that may not be substitutions. That may be let's find somebody that can tackle somebody. 15-yard line, upfield to the 20, and Walker's going to be nailed at the 22, and that was much better. Yeah, there's a couple distance on those kicks. If it can get them that height and get them down to the 5, then they will pin people inside of the 20 like he wants. Spread formation, twins to the left, trips to the right side. Atkins out of the shotgun from the 23-yard line. First and 10, Hill City back to throw. He's got some time this time, looking down the field. Got a man there, Lentz in coverage. Oh, and he made the catch, and then they got Lentz for interference. Nope, they called the catch out. That that's, uh, is their first down, correct? Yep, the first first down. Yeah, actually, take 15 years of penalty off that. I forgot that one was, went the other way, the one I'd already <laughs> credited with the uh, roughing the kicker call. First and 10, 37, 38 yard line for Hill City. Looks across the middle and it's picked off. Oh, Roder dropped it. He had that in it. Snag it, didn't quite do it. So uh, then he pound himself on the head like they all do. Yeah, looked over the sideline, just, you know, shrugged his shoulder and held his hands out like, hey, you know, what are you gonna do? Yeah. 37 yard line, second down, 10 yards to go. Atkins out of the shotgun. Got a little time, now he's being chased out of the pocket. He's got some running room. He's to the 40, hit and drop short of the 45 yard line, but a nice pickup of about, he looks or not, but boy, you, that combination of size and speed, you just don't find very Of course, the offense is dominating the game, and when you got your offense on the field, the defense didn't have to do anything. So, the, the Blue Jets game, or first game, first quarter, as you can see. They're at uh, minus, what did I decide? Minus 12, minus 10. You just minus don't 10 see teams play this well in the first quarter of the first game, generally. No. 
Kirkland backfield. Receivers left and right on third down and about four. Hand off to the right side. Schweitzer hitting the backfield and dropped. Another two to the minus and again. Yeah, he will be out there a lot. No doubt. And, and, and the depth grows. He wasn't even one of the guys they really talked about, you know, as, as one of those starters that are coming back. Great spiral punt high taken by A.O. and he hits it. He hits his knees at about the 28 yard line. Offense once in a while, you know, they're playing a couple series just offense, a couple series just defense. Right now, Jared Foley's in there along with Rush on the offensive side of the ball. One back set, double tight ends, hand off left side, hit in the backfield. Cofield, he'll fight forward for a yard. It'll be second fastest player on the team, but the guy playing ahead of him is the first fastest player on the yeah, team. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and uh, can jump out of the gym. Twins to the right. Foley and rushed in that way. High formation set, Hauserman in front of Cofield. Play action pass. Looking right side, Dan's going to run with it. And he's going to get across the 35. He'll be stopped short of the first. Uh, cover, or excuse me, tackle him in the open field. Blue Jays have yet to uh, punt the football. They scored a touchdown on all four of their possessions in the first half so far. Now going from east to west as they did change in to start the second quarter. Roeder keeping himself, breaks a tackle. He's going to be short by about a yard. It'll be fourth down and one. Nothing on offense. And, Minus uh, yardage. You got the horses, and if you can't make one yard, and this, this is a confidence builder to coach say, hey, you guys can take this. House alone set back. Option play, Roder. Oh, he's got room. 40, 45, 50, 45, 40. And Jared Fuller with the block. 25, 20, 10, 5. Yes. Touchdown, Blue Jays. I like that play because he didn't get time scoring. Well, Ward was uh, talking earlier and he was kind of concerned that he might not get six for the game. He might get six. He almost <laughs> got six in the first quarter. He got four. And uh, it's really an opportunity for to get that before the half. Boy, somebody got in there, almost got a hand on that, but Charlie Jones and all the way. Two touchdowns Norton's made have been on third and long situations. Yeah, they're, they're just coming and bringing it. And uh, of course, that one they got on fourth down, fourth and one. It's true. Yeah, the other one is third and long. That yeah, one was there too, but I missed the play in there too. Of course, we really had another run right before that. So that was really four plays. And they're thinking, they're thinking they're also. That's a kicker to be taken by Bath inside the can. 15 to the 20, finds it. Yep. Seam up the field, 25, 30, 35. Hits from behind, knocked forward to about the 43 yard. Ran pretty good, but then he kind of got hurt in football, tore up his knee, and he just, and now he's like old. Oh, he was young, <laughs> and he couldn't now? run much anymore. But now he's old. Low snap, steps up into the pocket, throws, oh man, sweet looking ball, then the ball hit yeah. the ground, but boy, it looked a lot nicer to go. 42 yard line, best field position for Hill City. They've never been on the Blue Jays side of the 50. Good idea here, get him in the shotgun, give him a little time to set up. Again, a bad ball. snap though, very low. Flag down, oh, almost picked off. Bo should have had that one through his hands. Blue hey, people listen, five isn't holding out eight. <laughs> five is whooping eight's butt. <laughs> five is whooping eight. Eight's not holding five, yeah. From the shotgun, again, a real low snap. Walker's having a hard time back there. Throw over the middle, it's, there's nobody home, but he just had to get rid of a good rush again. Joel's got it. I mean, this is something that's now, it's going on four weeks with him, and here he is sitting out another game, and you almost wonder if he's not gonna have to just sit for a while to let it completely heal. Hamstrings can take you out for a season. Yep, they sure can. Good kick, what? Well, they got a really nice punter. Good kick, AO's gonna let it go. Now he tries to scoop it up, just falls on a bag of the 15. Now, a little indecision on Aaron's part that time. Could Younger brother of the Will Height that played for the Broncos, a fantastic mm -hmm. player, player of the year. He had a hamstring problem in his senior year, went to Oregon, never recovered. He was a world-class track guy in high school. Go ahead, Larry. Rushed in motion toward the formation. Handoff goes to the left side, Kofeld, or excuse me, I'm sorry, that's uh, Katz, 13, not 33, across the 20 to the 22. Class guy, he just couldn't ever overcome it. Take it down, two. Twist to the left side of the formation. I formation set with Katz and Hauserman back there. Rotor under center. He'll hand off on a counter play. Left side, big hole for Katz. He's to the 30. It's the 35. Dives forward close to the 40 yard line. First down, Blue Jays. We got, we got the right, Jared Foley to the left side, to the right side of the formation is Rushton. Blue Jays with already 35 on the board, 821 to go here in the second quarter. Inside handoff, house hit and drill. That's it. That's uh, the inside, good linebackers. Uh-huh, yeah. Long yeah. is the other one. Yeah, and, and they have to because the line is, is not, you know, not helping them a whole lot. Second down, 10, no gain, four, little house. Twins to the right side. Play action pass, near side. Oh, don't know what happened there. Jared Foley went went left. Butler? He's a butler and they're playing Highland tomorrow and uh, they had a really big win their first game uh, down in Texas. Twins to the left, one receiver to the right, third down and 10. Another big third down situation for the Blue Jays. Roeder. 
from the shotgun. Oh, House has got room. He's at the 45. Oh, 50. That was a great play over there. It looked like he had nothing. Been beat and, and hustling to the ball, or they could have gave up. I mean, they yeah. could have gave up on that play and House could have scored, but they didn't. Receiver left is Foley. To the right is Rushton. I formation set behind Roeder. Dan hands off Rushton left side on the, on the end around sweep. Rushton breaks one tackle or steps out of it anyway, gets across the 45 to about the 43, 44 yard line. Years in practice, but in a game he's never done it, man. He's just a natural ever since they put him there. And, and there, that run, that's a good little run. He didn't have a whole lot and got six nope. yards out of it. Second and four, receivers left and right. Roeder's going to throw, play fake. Bump fake, looking up field. He's got Rushton out there, and it's going to be incomplete. Just overthrown. Rushton made a dive for it. It's thinking in the offseason that he didn't train anybody to be a backup holder. And if anything had happened to Seth Mills last year, the Blue Jays were pretty much out of luck. So he was practicing Bruce there, and it just so happened that Bruce had been taking a lot of the snaps anyway when Seth got hurt. So it worked out very fortunately for the Blue Jays. Cats across the 35, 30, 25, rolls down to about the 24. Nope, they say he's down. Safety. Kyle played pretty much every position on the field except the line positions. And then he went and played a little point guard. <laughs> on a pretty good basketball yeah. team. Receivers left and right, offset eye for the Blue Jays. Football on the 25-yard line. Rushing back in motion toward the formation. Play action pass. Looking down the field, he's got a man here underneath house. Makes a diving catch. Nope, pops out at the 23. There were six points on him down the field, and he didn't even look at him, so it wasn't a, wasn't a thing. Receivers left and right. And I, have, I think quarterbacks do get, get tunnel vision with people that they're used to throwing the ball to. Sure. Handoff goes right side. Boy, Katz, nice job of, of reading his blocks. Diving through the hole, fighting forward near the 10-yard line. Kyle Katz, folks, is makes. He's a player. Yeah, he's just an athlete. He knows how to play. He knows how to compete. He knows how to win. Jared Foley wide right. Rushton wide left. When nobody goes over, finally they get a guy over there to cover Rushton. A little slant to Bruce would look pretty good. Instead, they go with the quarterback keeping Roeder's brought down. That play was kind of ugly from the beginning. It looked like nobody... I don't care what you say. That's the way it's going to be all year. And, so, and if Sloan's not there, you got one key. Power eye formation set with... Cats behind the two fullbacks, looking to throw. He's got Foley far side of the end zone. Jump, oh, he almost had it. It's tipped away at the last moment. Good. Yeah, and, you know, I hate to root against offense, but I'm thinking if uh, they don't make it here, they're kicking a field goal. goal. <laughs> Third down and nine. Roeder's going to throw. Being pressured. Rolls to his left. Oh, wide open in the end zone, oh. and Dan throws a 10-yard short. Well, I think Dan will have He's been 13, 13 plays in that drive so far. Man, they're used to scoring a one and two. Sure. Dan's tired. Yeah. Dan's taking have, that when he snaps the whole first quarter. I've had to take ten snaps in a row. <laughs> He's tired of catching the ball. There there we go. Foley field goal attempt from about the tw the 18 oh. yard line. Oh, somebody got a fingertip on it. Did it get over? Get in there. Get in. Oh! He got. I want Charlie to go to his best opportunity if he gets one. But I'd also like somewhere where he can see. Him. Yeah. Are we on? Yeah. Back. Back here once again with Charlie Foley kicking from the 40 yard line for, I don't know, I can't keep track of how many times this has been. Line drive kick, he just booted that one, carries back to about the 7. It's going to be picked up by Vap at the 10. 15, and he got through there in a hurry. 25, 27, 28. 20. So first and 10, football just across the 25, or just short of the 30 actually, 28 yard line. Receivers left and right. Walker to throw. Out of the shotgun, looks right side, way overthrown. And, Good uh, pressure, and oh, it's yeah. great to have those guys back. Well, you had Rushton starting at two positions that he wouldn't have been playing. He would have been yep. second team because uh, he played for uh, Lentz and he played for EJ. Second down, 10. Walker hands off inside and hit and buried. His swipes are back inside the 25. Ooh, that play up. So two plays for, uh, of course, one incomplete pass and then a loss of yards there of almost five yards. Trips to the right, twins to the left. Walker out of the shotgun. Good snap this time. He's getting pressure. Looks down the middle. He's hit as he throws, and it's going to be picked off by Sloan. Block, 40. Steps out of the tackle at the 35. On his horse, 30. Cuts back the 25. Blasted at the 24-yard line. Got a flag. I wanted him to go down. 22's got a pick. Okay, now, yeah. Charlie Cofield back in there at the tailback, twins to the left. Wide receiver to the right. Excuse me, Larry. Got house split out this time, fullback. Get a little different look. He and Rushton on the left side. Back to throw, quick stand up, slant past the house. Great catch. He steps out of tackle, 10 5, touchdown. Blue Jays. I was watching practice about it. There and got by the defender, and then he was clear until he got to about the five, and then Ryan Maddy, his third big block of the game, this brings him into the end zone. Another one-play drive, Larry. 
Blue Jays have it over the 40 mark at 44 to nothing. Foley's kick is on the way, and again, it's perfect. We got the Army picking up now after all these. And a 24-yard pass play from House to, or from Rotor to House. How does that drive two plays? One, One play. play. Kick off. This was going to be a high angle kick toward the near sideline. It'll bounce, and oh, goes just out of bounds. Don't see that a lot. Big chinks in the armor so far in this game, Craig. There's just not a whole lot that you can look at and say, God, that's a problem. The only thing we can talk about is uh, the kick coverage. Kick coverage. And, uh, and then, really, I mean, how bad is it? They haven't got across midfield yet, have they? And not that was on the kick. Strength last year. Receivers left and right, split backfield inside, handoff. Nothing doing. Walker, okay. Walker carried out a good fake there. Good. I still thought I'm playing. Yep. We have a new linebacker, Lucas Wiseman. They got Tommy Graham playing middle linebacker now and Josh Green on the outside. Second and 10, no gain for Taylor Vap. High formation set, second back through hit. Oh, and naked. fumble. Ball's naked, Tommy Graham. He's the one that caused it. Let's yep. Cats will be in there. I'm glad to see this because, you know, if there's a player that you, that you really would hurt you not having in there, it's Dan Irvin. This is our B team right here, Larry. Yep. There's not a starter or a second teamer out there. Offset eye, second back through, hitting the backfield, bounces off, fighting forward to the right side of the 30, inside the 30, close to the 25 yard line goes Shine. The junior. Yep. And that's not, that's not a thing against Shine. You know, uh, no, a lot of people look slow like, next to Terry. That's Shine's first run, and we saw Terry with many runs. So, uh. Second down, seven. Inside handoff. Well, nice job of keeping his feet down close to the 25. The other side's Jason Green. We got Larry Mills up here. He's going to bring a visit with him a little bit here about the Blue Jay programs in general at halftime. So just so you know what's coming up. Got movement all over the place. Blue Jays jump on the right side. Hill said he was jumping. David Stanley. In the words of Emily Latella, never mind. <laughs> Another kid that's been looking pretty good at left tackle, Brady Lanier. The penalty was against Hill City, their first of the football game. Inside hand up. Oh, nice hole. Shine Fisher. Got to that hole in a hurry. Time runs out. I think it's the best offense in the country every day in practice. Yeah. I come and play in these games, and it's easier. And, and I think you've seen a lot of that at this at this at this high school team. Here. here we go. Charlie Foley's kick is going to carry down. It's going to be fumbled out of bounds at the 10-yard line. Now, on a change of possession, it should be continuous running clock the rest of the way. The Bulldogs with a 45-point lead. As we start the second quarter, and Atkins is back in at quarterback. And, and the Blue Jays defense is back, except for we haven't seen Sloan since he took that big hit. He's been playing some defense. Uh, green, sure he's in there. Yeah. yeah. We'll see. Atkins steps out of one tackle, dives forward to maybe the 11. It'll be a pickup, so, you know, he's at least eligible or available to yeah. continue to play. We'll, well see what happens. Yeah, it's not Jared's. Jared's decision not to be out there. We know True. that. That's <laughs> a good point. Second down, about nine yards to go. Hand off, second back through, hit and drill. Man, I want to see who made that stop. That was Tealy. Tealy snuffed that baby out from the get Oh, excuse me. Yeah, it was Tealy. It was, yep. yep. Kai Man helped him out, but, but CJ just crashed down from that right in spot, and he just buried Schweitzer. Been, uh, been really impressed with Justin Shirk in that first half, too. He did a very nice job on defense from what we saw. Now, we don't grade the film. We don't have the opportunity to go back and watch every play five or ten times like the coaches do, but... From our viewpoint, Justin Cirk has done a fantastic job yeah, I agree at, the, at the end position, filling in for uh, Joel Griffiths, who, you know, a little, little shaking up there, and, and Kevin, there you go, that's the coverage, and he, he gets there right as the ball gets there. Of course, he was there the whole way. He just happened to hit the guy as the ball got there, and, and that's the technique and the coverage uh, ability that Kevin Lance has. So we got another injured Blue Jay. Looks like uh, Sean Lauer's down there with his pads off, putting an ice pack. Is it his, uh, yeah, I guess it is on his knee. I wasn't sure if that's on his knee or the shin area, but it looks like they're putting an ice pack on his knee. Well, uh, you know, and I talked to Dan on Monday night, his dad, and I and I thought this whole time that he was he was his knee was bothering him in practice, but Dan actually said it was his ankle that's been bothering him more. So his knee, they had the surgery on, and it's been healed. 43 yard line, Heath Vincent. And then on the other side would be Tommy Graham on the left guard. <laughs> There you go. Second and ten. And got one of the Blue Jays jumping at the count. Two. Jared Mendrip, he, he's, he's listening to us down there. So I got, got to say hey to Jared. And uh, guy, they did a fine job playing baseball this summer. Second down at about 15 for the Blue Jays from the 48-yard line of the ring next. Counterplay left side. Kofeld fights forward to the line of scrimmage and then maybe a yard to the 45. The real time, not 
Cat's been throwing the ball well. He, he was like six out of seven in his first scrimmage after taking snaps at quarterback. Let's see if he throws it here. Nope, going to keep it on the option. Late pitch comes back to Cofield. He's got running room across the 40, dives forward. Dangerous situation. Because being a good runner, and he, he read that play very nicely and pitched out just before he got hit. Cofield, uh, slot left. Receiver wide left is Foley. Split to the near side is Rushton. Full back inside, handoff green. He's got the first down, 30. Breaks a tackle inside the 30 to the 27 yard line. Good job by your He's out there. We, we called his number earlier. Full back for the Blue Jays, number 26, Adam Krebs. Well, he's a pretty good looking player. We saw him some last year. He played well. First and 10, brought him on, hands off to the deep back. That's Fisher, tries to pop it outside, tries to turn the corner inside the 25. Knock down at the 25. You know. Hardly at all last year. And uh, even though he's a sophomore, you know, playing-wise and learning the system-wise, he's only a freshman. And you're right, he's bigger, and he's playing linebacker on the other side of the ball. He's out right now. Uh, Rose in at the tailback. He gets a handoff, spins inside, but a good tackle brings him down right at the line of scrimmage. The wrestling champ, yep. Clay Madden. Clay Madden. And uh, one of the few opportunities in the Norton history of a guy that could win four times. Down there working on his kicks, Chris Davis, his Blue Jay backup kicker, <laughs> and Rowe is met. That looked like a Tyler Van. In front of him, nothing, he's still playing like a 0-0. Fourth down, 12 yards to go. Brockelman brings him to the line of scrimmage at the 28-yard line. Hand off inside of the oh. fullback. Crespo breaks a tackle, he's inside the 20. He's gonna be just short of the first down. It was a fourth down play, but nice, quick hitter, well blocked. Ingle Burt, so you got a freshman, a sophomore, and a junior playing the deep secondary. Rose in there at a linebacker. Setting up on the near side is Otter. Yep, strong safety, Brandon Otter. First down and 10. Quick pitch goes to the right side to Walker. Nice. And hit and dropped another loss on the play. Homer with the tackle. That's Lance. We're up a bunch of yards and have to go back and face your teammates. You don't want them seniors breathing down on you. That's right. And off right side. And knocked out of bounds right at the original line of scrimmage. You know, you're facing uh, Kai Mann and Joel Griffiths, and you're facing Brian Luft and Mark Smith Maybon, and you're facing Charlie Kofeld and Bo Fonestiel yeah. and Jordan Houseman. And now yeah, you got yeah. a chance to do something. And maybe the guy named Michael Sprigg and yeah. uh, Ryan Maddy, and then, then Rotor running at you. Yeah. Third down and nine. High snap, it's over Walker's head. He may not come up with it. Finally gets to it and falls on it back inside the tent. The Blue I'm sure he's on the C team yet. Nobody's going to be back. They're just going to let it roll. Oh, well, bad snap. He scoops it up on the bounce. Gets off pretty good kick. It's going to bounce at about the 30. Takes a Norton bounce back inside the 30. That hit, hit somebody? Oh, they, were, they were in the area, and that's something that... <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> we, haven't, we haven't run a play that very close. Okay. Blue Jays with the football, first down handoff goes inside. Boys, one of the ringnecks time. Nine yard run, we don't want to go get him on the backside. My bad, that was 35. Chris Davis is oh, the Davis. fullback, so okay. he's the one with the minus one. Oh, mishandled snap, Brockelman, I don't know. Hill City may have it. Ringnecks are kind of starting to point that way. 45-0 Blue Jays as we start the fourth quarter. They are unpiling, and it looks like Norton's going to keep it. It'll be 73, Mark Sheets. 172 pound freshman in. Mike Wolf was in, he's the one to check out. Davis is the fullback. Rose the tailback. This time they anticipated the snap a little too well, and it's a. Okay. Loose football, Brockelman had it, bounced through his hands. I think the ringnecks may have ended up with it. It was a pitch play. He pitched it to the tailback. It bounced off his face mask high in the air, way into the interior of the line, bounced off the back of somebody's helmet, bounced back. Abel's 148-pound sophomore in the defensive line. Trips to the near side, twins to the far side. This could get, Blue Jays need to be real careful with this formation. Back to throw Walker, looks over the middle, he's got a man there, makes a catch, he's at the 30, 35, cuts outside, 40, got running room, 45, there's a clip right there, I, thought, I wonder if they're going to get it back. Three calls. We're inside eight minutes to go in the game, Blue Jays going to win this, obviously go to 1-0, they lead it 45-0. Twins to the left, trips to the right. Walker, the freshman under center, low snap, scoops it up. Lots of time, looks left side, he's got a man out there. Oh, in and out of the hands, he flat and dropped it. That was uh, Schweitzer. 55, 60 yard gallop after that. Don't think anybody would have caught him. Nope. Twins to the left again, trips to the right. Blue Jays getting a good look at this formation. Seven minutes left to go. 
Uh, one of the Hill City players is off too early. It's long. He was the one the pass was intended for, so he was off sides and didn't make the catch. It was behind him, so he couldn't have made the catch anyway. I don't want to get, be too hard on him. but Yeah, right. That was the tough. Not giving Hill City much of anything in the second no, half. The second team gave him nothing, and the C team was holding their own against him right here. And these are basically freshmen and maybe some sophomores that haven't played a whole lot right here. Atkins back in at quarterback. He'll take the snap. Here comes the blitz. Gets away from that. Looking down the field. It's going to be way under thrown and out of bounds. Good job hey. for the Blue Jays. That was number 40 Blake Van a big player. We're just seeing him come in there on that 145 pound freshman. He looked like a fullback. Yeah, and, and he was playing tailback uh, the last series, but only got a one chance there. But he, he, he can play, and he's got some good speed. No safety back for the Blue Jays. They'll just let the ball die. Five minutes left to go. It's going to hit. Oh, nice bounce for Hill City. Hits at the 48, goes inside the 40 to the 39. First and 10, Norton right there. One Travis Porter is out there. Also, player that we hadn't yet mentioned, Blaine Juniman's in a wide receiver, 130-pound freshman. High formation set for the Blue Jays. First down and 10. Hand, handoff goes to the fullback, fights for it. I think that's Davis. Uh, Looks like he's the one. So, uh, Pat Burton, another guy that's been seeing a little time that we haven't got to mention yet. Second down, about eight yards to go for the Blue Jays. Option play right, Brockleman, late pitch, turning the corner. Oh, nice run out across the 45 to the 50. That's going to be close to a first down for Blake Van Eaton on, uh, on the field. That's amazing. And, you know, if the Blue Jays can hold the ball the rest of this quarter, which it looks like they will, I think Hill City's going to end up with negative yardage. And off to the deep back, trying to spin away. Van Eaton keeps his feet after the first three guys hit him, but the last two, I think he's done a nice job of, of getting the young guys in real early. Yeah, and he got a lot of guys in that aren't starters uh, early in the game. Yep. Twins to the left, eye formation set, handoff goes to Davis, fights forward, gets back to the original line of scrimmage. We're inside two and a half minutes to Friday night. We hope you'll join us for that. I'm sure if his uh, folks or anybody else ask him uh, after the game how he felt going in, he's going to say how nervous he was, but he doesn't carry himself that no. way. Play action pass. Brockleman's going to throw. Now he's going to run. Turns it upfield. He's across the 50. Puts his head down. Lowered his head and got near. Receivers left and right. The Jays will keep it on the ground, though. Then eating the, full, the tailback. Davis the fullback. Oh. Gets the deck, gets the handoff off to Van Eaton, spins off a tackle. He's got the first down. And it's going to be very close if you get him a good mark. For the first quarter, and yeah. you get a little extra oomph on that, uh, that Gatorade bath of Coach Graber. Yeah, be careful. Pull the other hand on the other side. <laughs> handoff goes inside. Davis breaks a tackle. He's across the 35, across the 30, and close to another first down. And that's going to do 